All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So basically what I'm going to talk about in this podcast is, this could be for men or women, picking who you truly want to be in a relationship with. Because I think a lot of people get sidetracked when really trying to find the right man or woman. If you know anything about me, I try to help men find the woman or women of their dreams, even if they've been through a bad breakup or divorce. But... Um, What I want to get into today is what I talk to a lot of men about, and that is a lot of times men end up liking who likes them. They don't always have a choice. Uh, They usually settle a lot of times because, again, they may not put themselves in the right place to meet the right type of woman. They may not have the courage to ask other women out. They may not know how to go on dates. Uh, They may be very introverted or scared and uh, say somebody comes along, a girl, uh, takes an interest in them, even though they may not be that interested before you know they're in a relationship with them. Or somebody fixes them up with someone and says, this is the perfect person for you. This is who you should be dating. Uh, and then you end up in a relationship with this person you may not want, that you don't want to be in. Um, what was, I had a word the other day. What was it called? Uh, romance. Wait, what was that called? Remorse. Uh, remorse relate. I don't know. I'll think about it later. Wait, I got to flip it here relationship remorse, something like that, where you're dating somebody and then you kind of, you know, you're just not into it anymore. But let's move a little bit forward here. So my point being is, here's the thing I think men have to learn is having the confidence to be who they truly want to be with, not being told who they should be with, or them kind of giving up and settling. And it could be for women as well. A lot of times I think women get boxed in too. Because they may go for a certain amount of time or they may be under a lot of pressure to get married after a certain time or get in a relationship, maybe have children. So they kind of, uh, you know, find themselves maybe even just settling for somebody they've known in their past or who they're with now and they're not really that into them or their their family really likes them or their friends or someone sets them up with them and they're like, okay, this looks like on paper it's going to work when deep down inside you're not into it. But you got to pick who you want to be with and hopefully they're going to pick you as well. And the reason I bring this up is I thought about this. I was uh, at the beach in St. Augustine not long ago, and we used to party at spring break in Daytona. And there was a big, remember when they used to have those, uh, those, uh, what were those called, wet t-shirts and shit like that? Well, and these, you know, these women in the bikinis and stuff, we went there for spring break, and there was a lot of beautiful women up there, and then they would come and, you know, if they won and whatever. But there was a really, a pretty attractive girl there, and she kept coming up to me and rapping with me. And for some reason, I was not down with this girl. Not down with her. And everyone was like, Rich, what are you doing? Talk talk to this girl. Go hang out with this girl. Take off with her and whatever. Because she's even like, hey, let's take off. Let's go. I wasn't down with her. And even my friends were like, are you nuts? What are you? You know, they're all making fun of you. I was not down with it. And I think, you know, sometimes, and it wasn't because I'm sitting here saying I had every girl. It wasn't anything like that. Uh, It was just somebody I was not down with. Learning to say no to women that you're not interested in is something a lot of men don't know how to do. If, again, if they like them and they're single, they'll just a lot of times go with them, especially if they have a shot at going, you know, to sleep with them. Uh, They're not going to turn that down when a lot of times you probably should. You got to learn, guys, that not every woman's for you that wants to, you know, come after you. And a lot of men just don't know how to do that. I went through that even in junior high once where uh, one of the most popular, and she's very beautiful, she dug me, but I like this other girl. And they're like, oh, no, forget about the other girl, Rich. Uh, Go with this girl. This one's, and believe me, she was probably prettier and everything else, but I liked the other girl because, truthfully, she was taller. She had a funnier personality. I think she was Italian, so I kind of liked that part back then. But I ended up even becoming friends with the other one. But when you're younger, they're like, are you gay? This girl's, you know, wanting to talk to you. She wants to go hang out with you. Why are you not? She wants to, you know, go, you know, when you're kids, I go out with you like you're in a little cute relationship. I'm like, I'm not down with that. I think, again, maybe growing up in the environment with my father being in the bar, nightclub, and just seeing all different types of women, I was kind of more spoiled to say, I want, you know, what I want. I'm not caught up with somebody else dictating who I should be with just because I'm a dude. So I don't want to go real long-winded into this. But guys, I'm just telling you, if, if you are having a problem, you know, a lot of times meeting women, it's understandable. But you got to understand too is, you know, a lot of what you're doing, and I talk about this a lot, is you're kind of not, you don't know what you truly want, okay? Figure out what you want. Don't let others figure out what they want for you, is what I should say. And it could be, again, you may be going 
on for a long period of time not being in a relationship. That can be a good thing. Don't underestimate. You may not have settled. You may have, you know, built up something to say, hey, I am looking for the right person. And a lot of people around you may not understand that, especially if you're going into your 30s or 40s. It goes for women too. Listen, I have a lot of respect for women or men that don't rush into relationships. They don't always have to be with somebody either. So I just want to do a podcast on this. You got any questions or comments, uh, hit me up. I'm at masteringselfconfidence.com. That's my program I have as well where I teach men uh, a lot of different things like I mentioned earlier, or I think I did. Who knows? I do so many podcasts, but I'm also at richchalenza.com. Try to help men with their image, but do not, you know what I mean? Fall for or fall for something that you're not comfortable, you know, falling into. And it happens to so many people and it's, I see it a lot. All right. But also on the flip side, don't wait too long. <laughs> you go too long before you know it. Sometimes you get too picky and you get too settled in your ways. Then you, you realize nobody wants to have anything to do with you. Don't go that route either. You know what I mean? No one's perfect. I'm going to tell you right now, it does take patience. And, uh, you know, I hear that from guys all the time complaining about women. I'm like, dude, I don't know where you're at complaining about women. You don't, you know what I mean? What do you think you got to offer? Uh, I goof around and do even reels on that, but have some patience and understanding and learn to have friendships with women. I talk about it all the time before you actually get into any type of relationship because you'd be shocked having some friendships with women, how much more interested you may become in them. First starting off, just having conversations and just hanging out, not immediately forcing a relationship or force, forcing going out on dates or even sleeping together uh, too quickly. So. All right, take care, everyone, and I wish you nothing but the best.